There was a quiet girl who loved quiet places. She loved building forts in her room on rainy days. She loved listening to the crickets croon from her backyard tree at sunset. And so everywhere she went people asked the same question. Why are you so quiet? But she didn't know how to answer. And so she started to feel smaller and smaller. She thought very hard. She thought if she could just find the answer to their question, everyone would finally understand. So she read books about machines and about tinkering and building. And she went to the garage, the quietest place in the whole house. The hours fell away as she glued and fastened and hammered. Before she knew it, she had made a listening machine. She pulled on her raincoat and went outside. Then she switched on her listening machine, placed the earpiece against her ear, and whispered. Raindrops why are you so quiet? The rain didn't answer, but its pitter-patter was so mesmerizing through the listening machine, that she stood there peacefully for almost an hour. After the rain had passed, she climbed up in her backyard elm, tree, and switched on her listening machine. Through the machine, the cricket's evening song was the most beautiful music her ears had ever heard. She didn't need an answer anymore. She just wished someone else could listen, too. The next day, she brought her listening machine to school. At recess, she crouched down in the grass and listened to the sound of a ladybug fluttering her wings. Just then, her classmate came up to her and hollered. Why are you so quiet? She said. She, I'm listening. Then the classmate crouched down to listen, too. This story is a summary of the picture book, Why Are You So Quiet? Written by Jacqueline Disforges and illustrated by Risa Hugo. This story tells us about how children are different and praises the power of silence into a world where it often seems nobody is listening. Teach your children to slow down, to appreciate something more than technology.